Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chu on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making vegan lasagna roll-ups. And instead of the typical pasta lasagna noodles, I'm going to be using zucchini. And I'm going to also show you how to make your own ricotta. It's going to be really simple, really good. But the first thing we have to do is we need to slice these zucchinis up and I'm going to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes because we want to get some of the moisture out because zucchini is very watery vegetable and we don't want our lasagna to be all watery. So what I'm going to do is just cut the ends off here and then I'm going to slice these as thin as possible. And uh, if you have a mandolin, awesome, I do not. So we're just going to slice along the edge here and then we'll do it again. So about yay thick. So I'm just going to continue slicing up my zucchini and then we'll put them in the oven. Here we are, all sliced up. We're going to put these in a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. I've sprinkled them with a little salt to help draw out the moisture and then we're going to put these in the oven and then we'll make our ricotta. So while our zucchinis are baking for a few minutes, let's start on the ricotta. So what we're going to use is cashews and tofu and a couple other ingredients. So the cashews, I have a couple cups and I have soaked them. I soaked them overnight. You don't have to soak them that long. And we're going to put that in our food processor. Next, I have my tofu, which I have pressed overnight into um, this little, cool little contraption. And if you don't have one of these, you really need one. They are great if you eat a lot of tofu like I do. And it just gets all that moisture out. So we are just going to kind of crumble this in. Okay. We're going to add the juice of one lemon and we're going to add our spices. I think I have, let's see what I have in here. I'll give you the exact measurements in my description box, but I've got salt, I've got Italian seasoning and garlic powder. Sprinkle that in. I've also got a half a cup of quartered artichoke hearts and these are the ones in water. And then we're going to put a little bit of spinach in here. Sorry about the noise. We'll start with a handful. All right, now we're just going to pulse this. I've got a little bit of soy milk here if I need to add that. So we're gonna pulse. I'm going to add, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit here. And you're just going to keep pulsing until you get ricotta-like substance. So I'm going to continue doing that and then uh, we'll go to the next step. All right, so the ricotta is done. So over there, I'll show you that in a minute. Now I'm going to make some cheese for the top. Um, our zucchinis just came out of the oven, so I'm letting them cool off for a bit. So we'll make this wonderful little cheese sauce in the Vitamix. So, we need two cups of soaked cashews. And after you soak them, you want to make sure you rinse them. A cup of water. Four tablespoons each of white wine vinegar and lemon juice. Three cloves of garlic. Half a cup of nooch, nutritional yeast. Two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. So I'm just going to mix this all up in my Vitamix and then we're going to be ready to put this all together. So we are all ready to put this all together. So I'm going to be trying this new uh, tomato sauce and you know, I can certainly make my own tomato sauce. It's very simple, but this company sent me a couple of bottles and I wanted to give it a try and I thought this was the perfect recipe. And this thing, this sauce is chock full of superfoods. It does have a little bit of oil in it, so I'm not super concerned about that, but listen to the ingredients. We've got vine ripened tomatoes, carrot, red bell pepper, sweet potato, butternut squash, spinach, red beet, leek, sweet onion, garlic, portobello mushrooms, hello, 
So um, we're gonna give this a try. So we're gonna put a little bit of this sauce in the bottom of the pan to start. Very thick. And use. All right, just so they don't stick. All right, so we've got our zucchini. I'm just going, let me move this so you can see a little bit better. I think you can. I'm just gonna put some of the ricotta mixture on here. And you can, you know, experiment with this and make it as full as you would like. All right, then we're gonna roll it up gently. This one mine may have done a little bit too full, but you know, that's okay. And then I'm just putting it in this square little pan. So I'm just gonna continue filling, rolling, and putting them in the pan. Here's what it looks like so far. Uh, if I had a mandolin, they would have come out more uniform, but you know what? It's all about the taste, and that ricotta, I tasted it, is so flippin' good. So now I'm gonna top it with a little bit more sauce, and then we're gonna add the other cheese that I made. All right, so we're gonna top it with this cheese I made. Oh, it looks so good. I'm just gonna drizzle this on the top. Then I'm gonna do a little bit more sauce and then a little bit more cheese. Why not? And again, this um, Automat. I'm gonna leave the link to their company in my description box. And I thank them again for sending me this sauce that I could share with you. We'll put this in the oven for about uh, 30 minutes or so, and we'll be back. Okay, so all done. It's been cooling for about 20 minutes. You do want it to cool so um, everything kind of sets up. Otherwise, it's just gonna run all over the place. So, um, looks pretty good, that, that ricotta. Can you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay, I can't wait to dig in. Let's get a better bite than that. Get some of that ricotta on there. Oh boy. Mm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That ricotta. Oh my god. It tastes like dairy so flipping good and with this lasagna in there the little um the lasagna the zucchini noodles makes it so much lighter and i really like that cheese on the top it's not like your traditional mozzarella i'll leave everything in the description box so you can find where to get this tomato sauce and everything that i used here in the video so i hope you give this one a try it's good for you it's good for the animals and it's good for the planet and what you put on your plate determines your fate if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And also be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, thank you.